We're playing Hex Shards of Fate, Mary Mealy Corinth format. The game is available on PC and PS4 with cross-play. You can get the game on Steam or download it separately. Uh, link in the description to uh, find out more or download. can save me later if needed um, this is really versatile especially in this format because you get charges a lot you get charge every turn pretty much This is rough because you can only do it on your turn. Um, I like this. This is good too. I'm going to go with this. I know it could give me some damage now, but I just like a two drop quick action that gives me life. This is the sleeve we're playing. I can still get this by getting Primal Dawn boosters. Good to have a lethal, it's good to get health here. <sighs> I mean, this is good too. I think I'm gonna go with this though. Because uh, it's also a flyer. And we can create flyers with this so we can eventually swarm with a bunch of flyers. greatest but we're getting closer to six and this at least exhausts things so we can get our mecha hive going next turn if we don't okay so it's gonna create three spiderling eggs okay Card. Just really like this card. And if I play this also play that, give them both life drain. Need to get five, but that's 
not going to be easy unless I get some sort of additional... Okay. Just going to keep that in mind when I get things that are higher than three costs wherever possible. Excellent. Alright, let's see if we get speed. Speed, come on, speed. Yes. Alright. Hmm, <laughs> got lucky he got that back. It's okay. Now he knows he's got a. Sp it's still got speed, right? So, it'll come back in with some additional uh, powers. He got a spiderling. Boons, as they're called. That's a good one. It's getting some good removal, at least. I know the chug is good too, but... Steadfast. I mean, looking at what I was picking, they'd be like, why didn't you pick Chug? But you can see why, because all that stuff happened. That was a risk. I could have drawn just resources, but... Okay. because it's just gonna... Oh, although that's really good too. It's tough choices. Replica Popper is just brutal in this format because in a normal game this would just be in your crypt, but it gets shuffled in. We're up to 43 life. That little two drop life gain thing has been paying off. avoid that. But if he plays an uh, underworld, he's going to get it back. So he can control when that comes back, which is fine. That's 
that's why I picked that guy. Well, that could be good. This could also be really good. So we're going to attack with this. Um, and that's it. spider stuff to us, but it's okay. At this point, he's going to take three plus three, so he's going to get six. Maybe this will get rage, so I could get seven damage just from these. He's holding back those blockers because he wants to destroy these. It's such an uphill battle. Oh, he's also going to take one from the snipe fall over here. Rid of replica poppers with that, but that's all right. Now we can also make flyers here. Let's see what we get. Mm. Set this down. We know we need that. Set this down. I think this is going to be lethal. Yep. Because we would have had three flyers out of that. Gosh, it's hard to say what the MVP was in that match. Uh, probably Repla Popper because it was just overwhelming. But the Mecha Hive at the end there just kind of sealed the deal. Um, what did you guys think the MVP was? Let me know in the comments and share any other thoughts you have. I will respond to all the comments. And I uh, hope you like and subscribe as well. And happy hexing.